Hey family, make sure you join us on the new and improved African diaspora news.org. Now it is our uncensored and raw truth website. We have to make sure to have our own website because on social media platforms, they do have rules and at any time they could change a rule and shut a whole genre down. Now that would not happen to us because on African diaspora news.org, we can speak the truth. We don't have to hold back. So make sure you join our website today. Well, we know the white supremacists have been planning attacks on black people. And we have told you many, many times that the white supremacist is the most dangerous entity in America and throughout the world. We've seen with the white supremacist Peyton Gendron had done in Buffalo, New York. Now we have another white supremacist, but this time the community caught him. Now this white supremacist was having syringes and he was trying to stick black people with these syringes. We don't know what's in them, but the community caught him and dealt with him. But let's go ahead and show you that clip. But but the one on the floor had a bunch of needles and stuff, but he that man he admitted. You open up, he admitted. Uh, me watching the whole thing, he swung on the back. He swung. He beat it. I'm not gonna shut up. It's a public prison. Now, what that white supremacist had in all those syringes? Just me, just being a guessing man. He probably had fentanyl in there because it don't take much fentanyl if you inject someone with it to take them out of here. So not only are they trying to go to grocery stores and attack black people, now they're trying to weaponize something in syringes to kill off black people. Let me tell you something, black people, you need to be on high alert with these white supremacists. When you see them in your area, you need to start saying, hey, 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 what, what, what are he doing? What, what, what is he about to do? We have to be like that at that point, because like I said before, when we go in their areas, they do the same thing. They get on high alert. They'll come and ask you, what's going on? How you doing? You know anybody out here? Or they will sit up there and have the police stop you and pull you over and say, hey, you know, uh, what's going on? And, and trying to figure out, you know, who are you or whatever. They make sure to do that in their neighborhoods. Black people got to do this much more. Now, white supremacists have been saying they're going to try to always get soft targets because they're cowards. They're cowards. They don't want to deal with, with, with black people uh, fighting them. They always talk about this race war, this race war, that. Well, if you want to deal with that, go, go deal with the black people that's going to fight you back. But they don't want that because they've always been cowards they've, in their whole existence. Uh, they, they've been cowards. They're still cowards now. And also, do you see how the race soldiers were protecting him? They crowd, crowding around him. Well, for what? Why are you protecting him? You don't need to be protected. But see, th th it's the same thing like Peyton Gendron. They protect uh, the white supremacists. That's part of the, the see, I told you a long time ago, the race soldiers is the protectors of white supremacy. And, and they know that they can do whatever the hell they want to do. And they know they'll be protected in the process. They know the court system is going to protect them. We'll get them a slap on the wrist. That is a form of terrorism. What that guy was trying to do. And thankfully the community handled that. Thankfully. But what if he went in the area where the community would not, you know, be able to handle that because there's a lot of elderly people, etc. Who knows what he had in there? Like I say, he could have had fentanyl. He, he could have had uh, HIV. He could have had whatever in there. We don't even know. But black people, be on alert with these white supremacists. Be on alert. Always watch out for them. But leave me a comment, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think about this white supremacist in Harlem. Uh, because, like I said, these, these, these jokers are really trying black people. And black people, you know, like I said, this community handled it. They definitely did. But you need to be on alert at all times.